First, you start off with some uh, gasket material that's made especially for water. Bought it at uh, AutoZone for seven dollars. You need to cut a piece big enough to cover the entire gasket. Okay. Luckily, this was a metal gasket, so remaking it's not too bad. So you're taking uh, on a wood bench, you can flatten this out a little bit. So you can put the gasket on here and drill a hole. Yep. Take the drill bit out. You got a bolt to work just as well. Take it back a little bit. Use that to hold the gasket in place. Get another drill bit about the same size. That'll work. Use the same drill bit in the hole. Cut away what you don't need. Real sharp knife. A lot of pressure. So where'd you buy this uh, gasket at, uh, stuff? At uh, AutoZone. AutoZone. It costs like seven bucks. You just cut away. Watch your fingers. You just kind of trace around the old gasket. Yes. Yeah. No, no, don't have to be perfect. Just close. Perfect comes, you want to be real close on the inside. Make sure nothing interferes with anything. So the reason why we're making this gasket is because uh, they don't just sell this gasket for the, the uh, thermostat. They make you have to buy the whole thermostat piece just for the gasket. Which is ridiculous. So instead of spending over a hundred bucks, you spend seven bucks. And you just get the inside. Mm -hmm. And it don't cut your thumb. This gasket material doesn't have metal in it like the old gasket does. Does that matter? No, I don't think so. No, no. This is made specifically for ha or for housing. Let's see, there's a piece of paper here. For sealing water and coolant. Okay. Water pump, water inlet, water bypass, water outlet. Okay, perfect. And it's made out, it's got rubber and cellulose in it, which is cellulose is wood. Okay. And Take the drill bits out. Alright, so now you got a clone of the old one. Then you kind of finish cutting it out from the back. Okay, so this material's not rubbery or not ru real rubbery, it's kind of got a hardness like cardboard yeah. to it. But it's got evidently it's got rubber in it. I've never used yeah. any before. But I, you can, there's probably other material out there that's better or just as good. But it's thicker, thicker and harder than it looks. Using the drill bits to hold it in place, then you you got a good alignment. You could, then you can take and just, I'm not going to finish the gasket, this is the second gasket we made. But you just clean it up, go around with a nice sharp knife, clean her up, or okay. put it back down on the floor. Go on the that's all there is to it. So you just kind of finish and clean it up and then put it on where the old one went and yeah. that's it. You bet. Hey class, if you like this video, please click like below and subscribe to this channel. Also, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.